Good morning, everybody. RV living with the geezer. And uh, geezer and Blanca are on the road today. We're heading for, uh, oh, down around the Kerrville area. Comfort, Kerrville, Hill Country, where I used to live. Going down to visit some real good friends of mine. And uh, they've got a little uh, apartment at their place that uh, I stay in when I'm there. And uh, so I got don't have to spend any money on a motel. So that's the pleasure part of the trip. And the uh, unpleasure part of the trip, I'm going down there to every five years or so, I have to get one of those uh, colonoscopies. So uh, time is time is now. I'm a little bit overdue, actually. So I got the phone in the holder. See how bumpy it is. We're on Interstate 10, and I mean to tell you guys, it's uh, out here uh, between Fort Stockton, Texas, and Ozona, Texas. It is 110 miles and without anything. We just pulled into that rest area and they've got bathrooms there and uh, so we were both going to do our thing. Well, pull in there and uh, the bathrooms are closed today. So uh, I guess we'll just adapt. But of course, Blanca got it. She, she was fine, you know. There's plenty of trees and grass and all that good stuff. So Blanca, she's, she's fine. So old geese are going to have to figure out something here because uh, between here and the next town is like 87 miles. So, this IH-10 has got an uh, uh, 80 mile an hour speed limit on it. I don't drive that fast. I try to keep it around 74, 73. I'm in no hurry to get there. I told my friends I'll be there this afternoon. So I'll probably stop and get a bite to eat in uh, all around Sonora, Texas, I guess, which is still considered West Texas. I tell you, when you get on I-10 out of San Antonio and you start heading west, You've got close to 600 miles before you get out of Texas. So, uh, so any anything I consider anything west of like Junction, which is east of Sonora, I consider that to be West Texas. Made this trip many, many, many times. Uh, really good memories of, with my kids. We come out here in the summers to the Davis Mountain. single again uh, my friends that I'm going to visit they used to have a house a second home in Alpine and uh, heck I had my own room, my own bathroom there I was driving a school bus back then and I'd, I'd, into May as soon as school was out I'd come out to Alpine and uh, spend most of the summer you know I'll, I go back every now and then whatever, uh, I'd spend a lot of the summer out there in their house, you know, a lot of times they were there, and a lot of times they weren't. I had the, I was there by myself. Me and old Blanca, she's been with me since 2000 and
procedure. So, uh, depending on when that is, from from more uh, from uh, Kerrville or Comfort, they, they live. My friends live in Comfort. Uh, if it's like next end of next week for the procedure, I'll just run up to uh, Boyd and see the girls and uh, my son and daughter and all up there. Stay there a few days and then come back down because it's a lot closer to uh, go up to Boyd from Comfort than uh, it is from Alpine. Hope I'm not getting y'all all confused. It's like a big, uh, big triangle that I'm on this time. Big old triangle trip or a big old, actually like an L coming from Alpine down 10 to Comfort and then straight up north to Boyd, and then probably back to Comfort and Kerrville to get it done, and then back to Alpine. So, there you go. I'm sure that still didn't make a whole lot of sense. Yep. Let's see here. What else we got to say? Well, you'd be seeing some different sights anyway. And, uh, yeah, well, See how it goes. I don't know, December hadn't been real good so far. Yesterday I had to go to my local doctor in Fort Davis and I got a little one of them things like Rusty had and they cut it off and sent it in. So we'll see how that goes. And I've had them sent in before. But, uh, tell you what guys, get a little older, things start well, I want to stay positive and just, you know, hopefully when y'all get, a, whoever's listening, when you get a little older, you don't have to do anything. But, and some people don't, you know. But it uh, seems like when you get a little older, things start, you have to start getting things checked out. So, boy, that camera. You know, that's the interstate highway and it's still bumpy. The camera's bouncing up and down. I hear people talk about image stabilization on, you know, getting it on their, getting the video on their computer and they can make it, you know, where it's not shaky. Well, I don't have a computer, so this is my whole repertoire of equipment is this phone right here. Phone and, uh, well, that dash mount thing finally got to work halfway, halfway, so, but, all right, well, it's out here in West Texas, and like I say, I'll, I'll this, I don't know how long I'm going to be gone from Alpine, it takes me, actually, I told somebody that it takes me longer to pack Blanca stuff than it does mine, or food, or food bowls, or quilt she sleeps on. several other things. So, uh, anyway, but, uh, it's a good deal I'm still able to do that, you know. All right, guys. I'll be talking at you later. This will be the old geezer signing off. I'll go ahead and get around this truck. Talk to you later. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.